this is my bed for tonight I've laid out two pieces of ply because the floor was full of dust so that should keep me clean thing was um, I'd hiked all day since god blimey what time is it I set off probably quarter past seven in the morning I think um, so I've been hiking all day and it's almost six o'clock now um, I was gonna go for another five mile to Ross I didn't care how long it was going to take. I thought, oh, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Uh, but in actual fact, the sensible thing to do is to rest. Uh, I was hungry. My legs were tired. And um, I came across this old hotel, which is being refurbished, renovated, right in the Y Valley. So uh, I'm in one of the outbuildings, nice and sheltered, out of the wind. I'll get some grub going now. Eh? You know, I don't have to faff about with my tarp. It's a bit tricky to set up my tarp. I haven't got bungees or anything. So yeah, I'm quite happy. All right. Got to keep a bit quiet at least, I think. Yeah, it's a building site, look. Let's go in. It's a big place. Um, goes all the way out the front. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chow down. That's what I'm gonna do. See you again. It is really <laughs> cozy in here. sorted and uh, having a right old time here in this uh, out building in this on this building site yeah I just have this feeling of joy <laughs> Preparing my meal. Got a bit of a flame there, you know, through the alcohol fuel. It's nice. It feels secluded. I know it's not secluded. There's an A road right there, which goes to Ross on Y. But it feels secluded because everything's in lockdown. All the gates, there's there's big steel fences around the building site. You know, it's a building site. And I'm the only one here. And building sites can feel like that, can't they? They can feel secluded sometimes. We've been playing on them since we were kids. If you cast your mind back to how a building site felt like when the builders were away for the weekend, it felt quite abandoned, didn't it? Secluded, abandoned. And this is what this feels like. Quite abandoned. It's bank holiday. And uh, it's being abandoned. <laughs> and I feel quite alone here and quite happy. <laughs> it's cool. Food.
I was just talking to myself then about survival, stroke, adventure, and um, I thought to myself, what is adventure and or survival? Well, survival is most definitely resourcefulness. I mean, here today, uh, I get down to the bottom of the road, turn a corner, it was the right time. It was there, it was in front of me, and I took it. And here now, I've created a space where I can get a good night's sleep. That's survival, that's resourcefulness, that's, that's uh, taking what you, you know, taking what you're given, you know, it was there, take it. So yeah, resourcefulness, it's a key skill in survival, and not being too proud either. You know, many people have died because of pride, I'm not too proud. You know, it was a building site. I was going to use it. Adventure. Well, you know, I'm being adventurous now. I find myself in all, all manner of places. You know, uh, I get off the beaten track. I walked through Forest to Dean without a map today, without a map. Just with a basic direction. <coughs> Saw some wild boar in the end. And some roe deer. I think probably because I went through the forest, you know, I got off the trails, I got off the tracks. I didn't stick to the main drag. I thought, ah, you know, see where this takes me. And it's brought me here. <laughs> yeah, so adventure, I suppose, is the willingness to relinquish the norm, isn't it, you know? Step outside of the box. go beyond those places where the majority dwell, you know, be adventurous. I'm brewing as I talk. That's it, that's the brew done though. But yeah, I love finding myself in odd places. You know, I'm not an expert, I'm not a survival expert. I do know a survival expert. A world leading survival expert. And he's an old family friend. And we've spoken before now about the essence of survival. That is, of course, to tap into things, you know, and as I say, be resourceful. So yeah, I'm quite happy, I really, you know, I love doing this, I love getting out, finding myself in unexpected places, you know, not doing the, you know, the camping thing, <laughs> you know, I'm out there and I'm just doing the adventure thing, and that will take me into various different places, whether that's a bluebell wood or a building site, that for me is adventure. You know, next month, month after that, I might be in the mountains. Who knows? But the thing about adventure is not to limit yourself. You may find yourself in the most spectacular and the most unusual places. So that's it, I'm going to have a cup of tea.
and celebrate my adventure. Alright guys and girls, take care and be well. Alright.